Good day everyone! My name is Mia Cadela Cruz Costales from BZ1A and today I am going to demonstrate and discuss the anatomical position, directional terms, and body planes. So first, I have a question for you. So, do you have any idea why anatomical term and anatomical positions are very important? Hmm... Suppose that I am not confident because I have pimples in my face. But where do I exactly mean? Is it here, here, or here? So using the anatomical position and anatomical terms, we can easily identify what structure is being described because it is used to give exact and precise location. So now I am going to show you what is the standard position. So in anatomical position, you are standing upright. And then your arms are in both sides of your body. Your head and your palms should be facing forward and your feet are together. So using this anatomical position or standard position, we can easily identify the body structures. Now let's move on to the directional terms. First, we have the left and right. Sounds easy, right? So when we are referring to the left and right side, we are not referring to the left and right side of you as an observer, but we are referring to the left and right side of a person who is in anatomical position. So this is my model, Jennifer Olep. She is my cousin, and in her case, this is her left side and this is her right side. Next, we have the anterior and posterior. Anterior can also called ventral and posterior can also called dorsal. So when we say anterior, you are referring to the front part of the body. And when we say posterior, it is the back side of the body. Next, we have the superior and inferior. When we say superior, meaning it is towards the head, and when we say inferior, it is towards the feet. Next, we have the proximal and distal. So, when we say proximal, it is closer to where the arm or leg inserts into the body. And when we say distal, it is farther away from where the arm or leg inserts into the body. But remember that we only use the proximal and distal term when we are describing two points on the same limb or the arm and leg. So next we have the medial and the lateral. When we say medial, it is closer to the midline. And when we say lateral, it is farther away from the midline. So next, we have different anatomical planes or body planes. We have four different types of body planes. The sagittal, frontal, transverse, and oblique. First, we have the sagittal plane. In the sagittal plane, the body will cut into lengthwise cut and it will cut the body into two, which is the left and the right side. We have two types of sagittal plane the mid-sagittal and the parasagittal. If the cut passes through the midline, it is called mid-sagittal. And if the cut doesn't exactly passes in the midline, it is called parasagittal. Next, we have the frontal plane. It is a sideways cut and cut the body into anterior and posterior sides. Next, we have the transverse plane. It is a horizontal cut that divides the body into two, the superior and inferior portions. Next, we have the oblique plane. It is any diagonal section and its cut passes through any oblique angle. So that's all. Hope you learned something today. And again, I am Mia Cadela Cruz Cristales from BZ1A. Thank you and God bless.